Luke, congratulations. That was more like yourself today. Uh, feel a little bit better in acclimatising to the conditions down under now? Not really. They were just one of breeze this week. Um, you know, last week there was, you know, I'm not, not, I don't want to say excuses. It just was a breeze. And I, with my darts, it's just impossible for me to throw. So when I was playing Dimitri, it was kind of like, I accepted, uh, you know, it was never going to, I was never going to win. I can't, I can't do it in it. And, uh, you know, I just had to accept it. But, you know, tonight there was, there was no breeze. So I was there to play my game, you know, uh, <laughs> But yeah, I was, I, another thing was, you know, I knew I had to, I had to play well tonight. Caden's obviously a fantastic player. I know he can score really good. So you know, I knew I had to be on my game. I couldn't, you know, just just um, rest through like I did last week against Joe. Even though the breeze was there, I could, you know, I felt like I was going to win always. But you know, I knew that if I didn't play my best against Caden, he would, you know, he would have, uh, he would have put me away. So that that helped as well. Look, I know you, you you've never made excuses, but is it frustrating that obviously the way you throw that when there is breeze in those big venues because we've seen it quite a lot in the Premier League and stuff like that that it does affect, but not just you, but all of you top guys. Yeah, I mean, my my dad said, um, "How come everyone's playing well?" And and you know, he made a good point. How come everyone else is playing well, but you can't do it? And I said, "I kind of think it's to do with the the uh, style of my dart." You know, the long stem, long fly, it, it kind of relies on the air being really good because if it doesn't, it goes through the air differently. Whereas everyone else throws, you know, normal length darts and or heavier darts and it, you, you kind of get to the border much quicker. So I think, you know, it's kind of down to do with my dart, um, unfortunately. And I think maybe I might have to have a, a different set of darts in, in my case that are a bit heavier, a bit um, maybe maybe a bit shorter or something like that, you know, just to, to um, acclimatise to these certain conditions that you have to face because sometimes it ain't, you know, the PDC's fault. It's, you know, but um, this was to do with air conditioning units above me. And obviously, like I said, no excuse, but I can't kind of play it to my, the best of my ability when my darts are going all over the place and, you know, everyone else is all right to, to play around me. But, you know, it's no excuse. At the end of the day, I've enjoyed my time here, whether... Good or bad, you know, it's uh, been a great tournament and, and, and it was fantastic last week. Everyone played really well except for me. But, you know, there was a bit better there with, without the, you know, the, the air conditioning vents on it. I can kind of play a bit more to my ability. Still one of my best, but, you know, I'm still acclimatising to the the, uh, the the time zones and that. I've not slept my best, I must admit. <laughs> I think a lot of people haven't slept their best, not just me, everyone has. And I'm not, that's not just me. You know, Luke hasn't. I don't think we spoke the other day. Uh, Rob Cross, Gizzy, none of us have. But, you know, I've just enjoyed my time so much, regardless of what the darts do. I've, I've enjoyed it. So so far how far the sport has come that you guys are looking for different things, like you said there, a different set of darts for different conditions. Um, we've seen other players do it uh, as well. When beforehand, players would just use the same set for years, where now you're looking at stuff for conditions. So that show how far the sport has come? Well... It's not about the sport, it's about the environment you have to play. And I think Peter Wright did it a lot. He said it in many of his um, interviews, but also to me, he said he's used different darts in certain venues, different flights. I think that's why he chops and changes it all to do with the environment and how the, you know, if they've got air conditioning units on, obviously when we play in Rotterdam and stuff like that, you know, it's uh, it's it's kind of, it's testing. It's harder for me than everybody because obviously I throw that, I throw, I throw a different dart, don't I? But look, you know, let's not put a negative over everything. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining too much. I'm really privileged, don't I? So, uh, you know, it's just one of them things. That if it happens tomorrow, it would happen. That you know, I just go home happy. I've enjoyed my trip, but hopefully the conditions are good tomorrow, and I can go on and uh, play my best, and you know, see what happens. And look, this this will keep coming up until Luke Humphreys ticks it off because of everything you have won. But the frustrations of not winning one of these yet, when the CV is so good, does that play on your mind at all? No, not at all. I think there's no frustrations for me. I, uh, I just, I don't get frustrated. I think I enjoy it too much and that's my problem. Uh, I did an interview with Dan Dawson earlier and I think that's my, that's the the problem as to why I'm not one of these. I don't take them, I do take them serious. Of course I want to win. I don't come here and want to lose. Um, but I don't think I take him, I don't have the same, um, what's the word? I don't have the same uh, setup as I do when I play in major tournaments. I think, because that's what Dan said, you know, what, why is it you're deadly in, in them and, and not so deadly in these? I think it's just to do with the fact of my preparation's different. You know, when you're in different time zones, I love my sleep. So <laughs> you know, that's maybe why I get good sleep, good preparation. In these, it's kind of, you don't get the best preparation and some, you know, in the long days are harder. But 
you know, you just got to sit and enjoy these, don't you? They're, they're, they're fantastic uh, opportunities for us as players to go and, and travel the world and, you know, hopefully give the fans, you know, great darts. And tonight it's been pretty decent. So, you know, that's what it's all about. If I win, maybe I mean, but if not, I'm just happy to, to win the big ones. That's all I care about. I don't know if you saw MVG's Instagram yesterday, but he's got a new personal setup for his Call of Duty when he's on the road. You got some, um, got to up your game and, and match that. Yeah, he showed me it when we was in Blackpool to us, and uh, I've, I've inquired, and uh, I might next year. To, uh, I did see it he, when I went into his room, and he showed me it, and like really early into Blackpool, and I was like, "That's amazing!" Like it was fantastic. So I need to, I need to, I need to get one of them as well just to challenge him because he's you lucky now. He's got your game on the Call of Duty stakes, <laughs> but it, it handheld, and I need it as well. So what's uh, <laughs> getting the upper hand on me? He can't in the darts. Don't put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luke, it's, it's a pleasure as always, mate. And then good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Phil. Cheers.